structure. We've created relationships between a business process, applications and data it uses, down to the application and the server that the application is hosted on. So let's look at an impact analysis view to view all of those details in one diagram. So this is called an enterprise direction diagram, excuse me, an explorer diagram. Uh, this is called an explorer diagram. Here I'll open up this impact analysis view that was previously created. And this impact analysis view is an explorer diagram, which is a visual report in System Architect that shows the relationships that exist. Here I'm showing the relationships that exist between different domains of the architecture. So at the topmost, we have the business domain, then we have application, data, and, and technology servers. So looking at this view, I'm showing all the relationships that exist. However, this could be very complex in an organization, so we can choose to minimize on that complexity uh, and right-click and hide those details and rather focus in, and let me zoom, zoom in for this, focus in on one server, such as the, the SAP server. Here I see three applications are hosted on that server from accounts receivable to marketing to account management. And going further up from an application, I can hold down the control button and now look at the relationships that exist from the accounts receivable to this business process. So that accounts receivable application is executing the determined applicant eligibility business process. And it's also, this application is also using uh, the order uh, data entity, for example. So there we see the relationships, the impact analysis uh, that exists from the bottom up, from a server uh, up to the business process. And we can show that vice versa from a business process uh, showing downstream what's affected. So now we'd, cre we'd like to create a new diagram. And this diagram is another Explorer impact analysis diagram. So create a new diagram of type Explorer and give it a name. Um, here we'll give it a name of business process dependencies. create that new blank diagram. And for this visual report uh, explorer diagram, we can choose to take out data from the explorer on the left. So expanding the definitions, we could take out a business process, this BPMN process, and let's take out determine applicant eligibility. And move that to the top left. So here we have um, this determine applicant eligibility business process, we can right click and show all immediate relatives. So this shows the first level dependencies of this business process. So here we see the locations where it's performed at uh, from the Dallas, Detroit, New York location to the Acme office location I see the role that is responsible for this business process, PD1 regional sales, to use cases that it supports or technology that it uses. And here I have a group of eight that I'd like to expand further to see what else is connected. From the business process, we have connections to applications. For example, customer account lookup. So taking this customer account lookup, I could drill down to the next level drill down and now show relationships from customer account lookup to, for example, that server. So we can see relationships, um, relationship drill down to the nth degree. So really following that relationship traceability down uh, several level drill downs. So if we take this a customer account lookup, uh, we can either right click and show those dependencies, or we can view the uh, references using this view references example. So selecting the properties and looking at the references, on the right we have relationships from this uh, determined applicant eligibility. We see that it's connected to a use case and it's connected to the participant and um, the participant 
uh, which is the role, the PD-1 regional sales. Okay. Or we can just look at it in our uh, Explore diagram, looking at those details. In terms of reporting, we can show this visual report of traceability. We can also show report generator, HTML generated reports that are queries from System Architect. So for example, we can open up and show an application portfolio report. And this application portfolio report shows uh, an HTML report using a style sheet um, of your choice and this shows the applications on the left, a description of that application, and then some details of the application, like the application type and cost information. So looking at the application, let's drill down and look at customer. Here we have customer account lookup. Looking at customer account lookup application, drilling down, we can see the server it's hosted on. So using the report, we can either look at the details um, using this report or drill down and look at the relationships to servers, in particular for customer account lookup. Other, uh, other reports, for example, are business processes to applications to servers. So looking at a full traceability from the business process on the left, a description of that business process, the applications that execute the business process, and then for each application, which server uh, hosts that application. So this is traceability from the business process to the application to the servers. We can show the same information from a business process just to the server. So instead of drilling down, uh, excuse me, from the business process to the application, so instead of drilling down from business process to the application that executes the business process to the server that the application is hosted on, we can just look at the business process and the application that executes that business process. So for example, assess risk is executed by this risk management application as an example. Okay. So those are our reports uh, querying the repository.